Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fahler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 15th, 2016. So, today is one of these days of the month that we could be overly dramatic, we could take things out of proportions, and our emotional field is wavy, <laughs> to say the least. The moon is conjunct Pluto today, and everything and anything beneath the, th the surface is very turbulent. It could be because our subconscious is asking us to understand something, to bring it up to the conscious level. It could be that we need to understand better the root of where our desires and, and cravings and needs come from. Because Pluto is about everything that goes, be goes on beneath our surface, beneath our conscious. And this could be uh, first of all, all our emotional field, but it can also be our root chakras and our lower chakras, so we can be dealing with a lot of desires that we need to understand better as well. So really, the, the, the answer for these kinds of days is to view things with a little detachment, not to be totally 100% immersed in the emotional experience but to try and bring it up to the higher mind and detach yourself a little from the situation and look at it and think about it logically. And there is an opportunity for breakthroughs there because during these days the sun is trining Uranus and Queen Kong's in Chiron. That says, hey, innovation is possible. Breakthroughs are possible only if we leave some of our pain behind. We leave some of our wounds behind, if we do some healing, if we do some deep understanding and, and, and we can actually solve some of the issues that we've been dealing with for so long and leave them behind us and not carrying them with us anymore. Venus, the plant of relationships, love, satisfaction and everything that is uh, um, concerning with uh, physical or monetary values, material values, is on the North Node. This is an important time to visualize anything you would like to change or materialize in your world in these aspects. And this is a high time for Romans as well because it's opposing Neptune. And that could be a great time. That could be a time that new important people can come into your life that will shape your future. But this could also be a time that we could be a bit more naive than usual. And we have to be careful not to and really see things as they are. So, thank you for listening. And I hope you're going to have a beautiful week. This is Buzz Fighter. Goodbye.